Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Pisces Intuition. I've already pre-shuffled the deck, and now I will be laying out the cards. The first one represents you. The second one represents the problem or the challenge of the situation. The third card represents the um, fears or weakness. The fourth card we have represents hopes or strengths, and then the past influence on the situation, and then finally the outcome. Okay, Capricorn, what I'm getting for you is um, you are represented by the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very magnetic. She's very confident, um, and this could be male energy as well, but it's um, all about walking into a room, you know, all eyes on you type of thing. Um, like I said, just very confident people are very drawn to you, you're kind of life of the party, you know, when you walk into the room, everybody wants to talk to you, you know, full attention on you. Now, the problem with that is... Um, I'm getting that with the Nine of Pentacles, that's all about like um, a very strong, independent, um, single life type of energy. And so what I'm getting for that is, even though you are very magnetic, um, you know, people are drawn to you and everything, you still have that, that strong independence um, about you where you're just like, okay, I don't want a relationship right now. That's not what I'm interested in. Right now I'm interested in my coin, my abundance. I'm just kind of feeling myself, you know, don't want to, I don't want to be in a partnership right now. Now your fears are weakness, um, which is the empress. The empress is, you know, she's very loving. She's very motherly. She's very caring. She's, um, can sometimes represent the birth of a new idea or just, you know, giving birth in general. So with this being in the fears and your weaknesses, um, perhaps it's saying that, you know, you're scared of being tied down because you don't, you're not ready for that. You know, you're not ready to be, you know, the mother, the wife, the, you know, you're not ready to be put in that position is what I'm getting. Now, with your hopes and strengths, the Ten of Wands, your hopes and strengths, um, Ten of Wands is usually carrying heavy burdens, um, you know, but it's also at the end of carrying heavy burdens. You know, Tens, those are final situations, you know, that's something that's coming to an end. So what I'm getting for you, with that being your hopes or your strength, is um, you work well under your, under pressure. You know, you can carry those heavy burdens. You've got that, you know, all the weight of the world on your shoulders, and you're not going to crumble. You know, you have the Queen of Wands here. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. You know, and that's, you know, representing strength. That's rep representing your independence. So you're not going to let you know, the weight of the Ten of Pentacles, or the Ten of Wands, excuse me, um, you know, crush you or make you fold. So, now, the past influence on the situation is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is like, um, like an aha moment. It's like, you know, you got this idea, like, you just kind of realized one day, you know what, this isn't working for me, this is what I want in life. You know, this is this isn't me. I know what I want, you know, I know who I am, and I know what I can do, so this is, you know, that aha moment is what's kind of just sparked everything, you know, it's a, kind of like a domino effect, you know, it sparked your uh, independence streak, it sparked your, you know, working well under pressure, it's, you know who you are, you've got that sense, and you know you can go forward. Now, the outcome of the situation is the beautiful star card. Um, and what that's telling me for your outcome is, you know, it's a very, the star card is a very healing card, but it's also telling me that you're just kind of following your hopes and dreams right now, Capricorn. You know, you've, you've had that aha moment, you know what you want, you know, it started everything in motion, and now you're going for it. 
so Capricorn, this is very, um, and I mean, this doesn't all have to happen, you know, all this week, but it just kind of seems like, you know, here recently, you have had that aha moment, so it's, you know, set forth everything else in motion, and, you know, you're going to move forward, you know, as far as an outcome to your hopes, you know, your dreams, and, um, wish fulfillment, things of that sort, so that is an awesome reading, Capricorn, congratulations, and I will see you guys back next week, so take care and love and light.